was a groundbreaking ceremony for a new factory. Did she mention seeing anyone who was sick? Anyone on a plane at the airport? No, she said she was jet lagged. The average person touches their face three to five times every waking minute. In between, we're touching doorknobs, water fountains, and each other. Matt. Mom? No, no, uh, uh, go up to your room, honey. So we have a virus with no treatment protocol and no vaccine at this time. You had a seizure this morning, Beth. Yeah, she before? had a history of seizures? No, no, no. Allergies. No. As of last night, there were 32 cases. Unfortunately, she did die. Right. And he says, well, can I go talk to her? Mr. Armoff, your wife is dead. What are you talking about? Okay. What happened to her? What happened to her? Is there any way someone could weaponize the bird flu? Is that what we're looking at? Someone doesn't have to weaponize the bird flu. The birds are doing that. Watch this. It's transmission. So we just need to know which direction. On day one, there were two people, and then four, and then 16. In three months, it's a billion. That's where we're headed. They're calling out the National Guard. They're moving the president underground. People will panic. Get away! It will tip over. The truth is being kept from the world. Cook your samples, destroy everything. Hello. I need you to get me the names of everyone who serviced this room. It's an emergency. Panic now. I know. I'm gonna get you home. I got people too, Dr. Cheever. We all do. Don't talk to anyone. Don't touch anyone. Stay away from other people. The visitor comes. We're not sick. It's figuring us out faster than we're figuring it out. It's mutated. In a remote African jungle, a small monkey is captured, bound for a pet store in America. A deadly virus. Ah! Now, I know that some of us have doubts about what we're about to do. We'd be less than human if we didn't. But the fate of the nation, perhaps the world, is in our hands. We cannot, we dare not refuse this burden. I'm confident that each of you will do his duty. God forgive us. Your town is being quarantined. We got 19 dead. We got 100 more infected. It's spreading like a brush fire. What are you talking about? If one of them's got it, then 10 of them have got it now. And if one of them gets out of Cedar Creek, we have a very interesting problem. If that bug gets out of there, 260 million Americans will be dead or dying. I'm leaving with the team in an hour. From the heart of a small California town. Damn it, Sam. I want to save these people the same as you. To the inner circle of power in Washington. The most optimistic projection for the spread of the virus is this. 24 hours. 36 hours, 48 hours. The greatest medical crisis of all time. We can't stop it. Begins. Try to remain calm. Many people are dying and are going to continue to die unless we find this monkey. There will be panic the likes of which we have never seen. There you are. Portland residents of Atlanta, Denver residents of Detroit, Denver residents of Chicago. Mr. Kim, formaldehyde, dirty formaldehyde. Pour him into the sink.
heard your daughter's still alive. Why didn't you contact the police or the military, a human rights organization, something? Planet Earth, home to over six billion people. Today, our very existence is threatened by epidemics, climate change, and dwindling resources. But those are the least of our problems. Welcome to Zombieland. My mother always told me, someday you'll be good at something. I mean, I don't think she could have guessed that, that something would be zombie kill. What do you think? Zombie kill of the week? Close. But no cigar. Zombie Kill of the Week went to Miss Cynthia Knickerbocker. Gotta enjoy the little things. These fellas really let themselves go. Zombie Land. You guys want some Purell? Yes. Yeah. Oh. 
세상에 어? 우리 해선이 못 찾으면 너부터 죽자. 아저씨, 저 노숙자 아니에요. 너 가만히 있어. 한 발만 움직여 봐. 쏴버릴 거야. summer, the visionary creators of one of the scariest films of all time dare you to take a second look. Wreck 2.
感染を防がないと飛沫感染を感染で何ですか助けて恐怖は感染し死を予言する。Shooting down the victims is as good a way of handling them as, as we have got. Trust your mother, your best friend, the neighbor next door. One minute they're perfectly normal, the next rabid. Pray it doesn't happen to you. Why isn't she here with you tonight? We should stop, please. I slept in pretty late this morning. Feeling okay? Don't even start with that. What seems to be the problem? What the hell is wrong with your eye? Are you sexually active? Are you using protection? This appears to be some sort of sexually transmitted disease. There's nothing wrong with me. Contact with anyone until we can determine what it is we're dealing with. Yeah! 